Liverpool. Uh, no, no, I mean Liverpool, and it's not what I imagined. It's bigger. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean smaller. Anyway, um, bigger. <laughs> there's a real special magic about Liverpool because of all that magical history. Right, guys? Right, right, right. We're tracing the track of the Beatles. This bit is very special. We've got legendary guests and we'd like to recreate for you what it was like back at the start in those heady, innocent days before the Beatles when the cavern was just a twinkle in Ray McFall's eye. We're heading to Walton Village outside Liverpool. It was here on July the 6th, Go July 6th, 1957, at the St. Peter's Church Hall, that Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney cycled his hey. bike up to the church hall and heard a very nasal Liverpudlian sound. Whoa. That was John Lennon's quarry yes. men. His first band. Oh, and they were singing the Dell Vikings don't Come Go with me. So Paul played in here for you guys, and do, do you remember feeling this guy is, is, is a special guy? I mean, was there a specialness? Well, he was so special I don't even remember seeing him, <laughs> right? And, and over there on the wall, there's a painting by an American friend of ours of the day John met Paul, which is supposed to be in here, and... Uh, is his foot marks there, though? We've been doing all these Beatle conventions in America, and people said to us, what do you remember about the day John met Paul? So I said, oh, I don't remember meeting him at all. I think I must have gone home for me tea. As Rod said, it was one guy that we didn't know meeting a guy that we did know. It didn't, there was no <laughs> bells going on. There was no fanfare of trumpets, no lightning or anything like that. It was just two 15-year-olds bumping into each other.
So the original setup, uh, a, a key question that I want to ask you all, in that original setup with John Lennon there, was there, a, and I started to talk to you, John, about this, but was there a driving ambition? Was, or was it just about having fun? We were just having fun. We were just having fun trying to be up on stage with instruments, trying to impress the young ladies. It didn't work for me, but it uh, did for some of the other guys. What was the teacher's face? Did for Eric. It did for Eric. No, he had a guitar, maybe, but... And were you in 56, 57, when you were starting out, were you, uh, I mean, was it easy to get gigs? Was it easy to earn money? Um, I don't think Colin, we ever we earned very we much, did we, Colin? We no, we didn't earn an awful lot of money, but... Uh, about three quid between us, wasn't it? Yeah. So, no, it was, no, we used to get £2.50 then. Yeah. So was it, was it wedding receptions and friends booze ups? And well, basically anybody that would have us, we went, you know, so... <laughs> yeah. uh, very choosy. You, I mean, most of the dance halls then were all uh, strict tempo. You know, you'd have a, an eight, ten-piece band playing waltzes and quick steps. And they all latched on to the fact that the skiffle craze was booming on Merseyside, if not in, in England. And the promoters that had any sense, they started organising talent contests to take up half an hour or an hour in between the evenings. So they, it, was the, it was the period when the band went to the pub to have a couple of pints, you see. So they had that gap to fill. So they decided that they could hold talent contests. So the quarryman, uh, we heard that there was one in Garston called the Wilson Hall. So we all went down to this talent contest. And we were told that we couldn't get in for free because that's what John assumed, you could just get in. And the guy said, no, no, you've all got to pay, which was, again, it was a good move by a promoter because he would have five bands with five or six people in, plus their followers paying to get in. And John was outraged, you see. He said, no, no, I'm not paying, we've come to pay. And he said, well, if you don't pay, nobody gets in. So Paul said, look, We'll pay our entrance fee, we'll win the competition, and we'll get the two pound prize money. See, because, so we all went in, but we didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 